You know that expression, a man on a mission? Never has it been so easily demonstrated as it is at the moment outside Tesco's every morning at half seven. All those people queuing up, none of them have a shopping list because if it's there, we just take it off the shelf. And that means that people coming after us find empty shelves. The poor dogs have run out of dog food. Eggs and toilet rolls are priceless. The trouble is, it's very difficult to do what we're being asked to do at the moment, which is to show great restraint, particularly when we think there might be shortages, because there's an instinct in us all to squirrel stuff away, to be prepared, to be like the wise virgin in the story that Jesus told, who made sure her lamp was full of oil before she got to the wedding party. So this morning, I want to just offer you a different sort of image that perhaps we could keep in our heads for the next few weeks. It's about a man who was on a mission from God. He was sent to do something specific. He was sent into a sort of self-isolation as a result because he'd had to give a very dangerous message to the king. And God told him to go away on his own and he provided him with some food. It was pretty basic. And when that ran out and he was really hungry, he had to rely on the charity of somebody else. Just like a lot of people have to rely on the food banks, not just now, but have been for some years now. The man was Elijah. And he went on to receive help from a woman that God sent across his path to look after him. She had Virtually nothing. She was on the point of starvation. But she shared what she had with him. And God blessed that and fed them and kept them alive through a time of crisis. For his own sake, he was kept there. For his own safety. Does that sound familiar at the moment? So in this story of Elijah, who am I? Am I like Elijah? Somebody on a mission for God. Somebody who has to live in self-isolation, in sadness and loneliness. Or am I more like the woman, the person who brings the help and the food? Somebody that is sent by God to be the right person at the right time. You can read this story in the Bible, in the first book of Kings, chapter 17. What's God asking of us today? I think he's asking us not to be greedy, not to go in and take just everything that's there on the shelves just because it's there. I think he's asking us to share. And I think he's asking us to be a source of encouragement and kindness and cheerfulness to the people around us, to our family and friends and neighbours and to anybody else who feels isolated. And I pray that we will be able to do this. And maybe when all this crisis is over, we'll find that we've been on a mission for God too. May God help us all to really do our best in these coming weeks.